squared equals to 90. First of all, the highest power of the equation always tells you how many values or how many solutions does the equation have. Okay, so you must have two solutions. Now, a lot of you will go ahead and divide both sides by t and then you might want to write that it is just t equals to 9. That's the only solution. But that is a wrong approach. Why? Because you don't know that the given variable can be 0 or it, it can be something else. So what you're doing is by cancelling out t from both sides, you are saying that t cannot be 0. But if you clearly see at this equation, by plugging in t as 0, my equation is satisfied. So therefore, the best way you should approach this kind of question is by taking terms one side completely and then solving by factorization. Okay, you take out t common, t minus 9 is the other factor, telling me there are two values for t, which is equal to 0 and the other value is 9. So you should always approach this way because remember if you have the variable common both sides don't ever go ahead and cancel out the variable term because you are violating the rule of mathematics by saying that if the variable is 0 you are dividing by 0 which is not possible. Hence this is how you follow.